James and John here today. Um, today we are at a, a special place, um, something that really excites us. We are at Sundial's Hydroponic Farm yes. in Vista, California. John, you want to tell us why we're here? I'm really excited because this here is a hydroponics farm. Uh, I myself have never really seen a hydroponics farm, nor did I really know what it was until a couple of months ago. Uh, and we were lucky enough to get a tour with Endeavor, who was a uh, a veteran in the military, a Navy in fact, and he will go ahead and give us a tour and basically show us about hydroponic farming and the ins and outs of it. My name is Jonathan. My Endeavor. Endeavor? Oh, it's unique. Where did you uh, get the name Endeavor from? Endeavor? Uh, when I first came to the United States, uh, the people that adopted me mm -hmm. was uh, they just named me Jeff. <laughs> so okay. I didn't like Jeff. So when I got into the military, uh, it was during uh, right after September 11. I joined the military. They were able to, you know, gave me citizenship. Mm -hmm. And the lady told me any name you want. Okay. You know? And then I was reading this book called Captain James Cook. And then the ship is named Endeavor. Since we're on the ship anyway, I was in the Navy, so I picked that name Endeavor because it's strive for hard on this word. Has a really good meaning, mm -hmm. so I remind myself. Everything. That's okay. why I picked that name. Uh, so here we are at uh, Sundial Farm, mm -hmm. uh, which is hydroponics. Yes, this is hydroponics. This farm has started maybe four or five years ago. I took it over two years ago after learning the uh, hydroponic technique from Archie Zaker. Okay. So I started with growing basil in here, and then the previous owner wanted to retire, and then we prayed a lot, and here we go, <laughs> and started this business with yeah. You know, the farming side. Yeah. Okay. So, do you mind if we go ahead and take a tour? No, no, not my own. Come on. So here, uh, we'll wash our hands before we go in. Oh. Okay. Yeah. This so, so in the hydroponic. Uh, production setting, there's always going to be a big reservoir, especially the way we grow it. It's called an NFT technique. And so it's called a neutral film technique. So it's growing on the channel. Okay. So all the water is being pumped out like any regular pool pump. It pumps up to the table. All the water is gravity fed back down. Okay. And then in this tank, every three months we jump in there, we scrub it clean and starts over because we measure the nutrient by EC mm -hmm. and we adjust the pH to have the best environment for the plants to, uh, to consume the fertilizer. What nutrient. pH do you, uh, you kind of want to keep the plants at? So right here is where we set our pH here. We set about 5.9 and EC depends on the season, the time, the days, how hot is it outside. We kind of adjust it by that too. And then we will mix our own greenhouse grade uh, nutrients here. We actually have some expert professor that actually custom blend it. And we RO our water before it gets to the, the plants itself. So we use city water and we RO the water. We bring it down here and we have this dulcitron that actually mixes the, pumps the A and B nutrient, adjusts the pH into the water. And due to evaporation, we actually have an autofill. So it fills up the RO water, so it makes it going. When I first started, I didn't get this toy. So I was blurred which project <laughs> all day long. So every time I go in there, I add the water, add the nutrients properly to get it going. Yeah. So you said that you were taught this at a night class. Yeah, from a, a Marine? Marine, he's a retired Marine. I mean, he got out of the Marine Corps and then he started a farming and then he learned hydroponic. Yeah. And then he started this class in school. So a lot of military guys that they actually go to the school and learn about hydroponic and then see if they start one of being farming. And hydroponic growing is more like a lab where you got to maintain maintenance a lot. You know, maintenance the pump, maintenance the electricals, making sure things are really clean in there. But hydroponic in a sense is it's not that hard. Okay. But if you like, I started before I even started basil. I grow it from my balcony. Okay. I was testing tomatoes. I was testing basil's and. Yeah, I mean, just grow all over. And yeah. I have those lights that turns on at night, you know, to keep the sun there. You know, people are thinking I was growing weed. You know, yeah. Because it's so bright. Yeah. <laughs> so we send our butter lettuce that once it's harvested, we send it to the lab. They test for like 700 different compounds. I tell them why I use. Yeah. And I think last Thanksgiving we did that. 
and we got it back and we saw zero. Okay. So it's a very good product. We feed it to the school here, we feed it to the church, we feed the family. We want to make sure it's a good product. Yeah. yeah. So, and plus we eat it every day. <laughs> if I'm eating it, I know my, my product is good. Right? Yeah. So, so we'll go inside, we'll show you the different actual the plants. Okay. Oh, wow, it's huge. <laughs> oh, this is a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah, we grow about 2,300 varieties here. 23. I mean, 20, 23 different varieties, and we uh, harvest about 3,600 heads per week. Yeah, so there's uh, about six weeks, six, six to seven weeks rotation. Yeah. Uh, once you plant it, you kind of leave it alone for five, six weeks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right? So you're not dealing with all this all the time, <laughs> but you're checking the lines, make sure nothing is clogged. And, yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's a maintenance. You're making sure. So that's that's one of the nice things about hydroponics is you don't have to worry about the soil, the fertilizer, that because it's just the water is just going through all nutrients is already in there. Yeah. So you don't have to like go and look through the soil. We still have to right. double check the nutrient, like uh, the the EC that we set it at is called electroconductivity. Okay. It doesn't know if it's good nutrient or bad nutrient. Okay. That's why every three months we jump in the tank, we clean it all okay. out because it, all they measure is just the uh, the materials in. It. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there's a build up of calciums in there, so that's why we have to go in and clean it mm. and start fresh again. Yeah. So that's we calculate about every three months we do that. Okay. So that's how we protect the plants and give them the best nutrient possible for them. So here's our seeding room. It's a little warmer here, so it keeps the seeding nice and healthy. Especially during the winter, it is going to get cold. So keep it strong, consistent. These are LED lights and these are fill up LEDs. So each of these are, each each week we plant 3,600 by hand. <laughs> and then another 3,600. So in here, it will be in here two weeks. After two weeks, we'll move it outside. Okay. Okay. These are actually Oasis cubes. They're just meant to be a medium holder for the plants. And then this itself is hydroponic. And because is, is you got a reservoir, you got a pump, you have a meter, you mix it yourself, and boom. If you put channels in here, you can grow plants. So from that seeding room, we'll take it out there after two weeks, we'll put it in what's called nursery channel. So the nursery channel usually have 72 holes, a lot closer together. Water gets recirculated, it doesn't touch the ground at all, it goes through all these piping. These are our nursery channels. So around here is about 3,600 plants. And we'll leave it here another week and then we'll transplant it out to our regular tables, which the holes are a little farther apart so it needs the spacing. Mm -hmm. There's about 18 holes in the channel. Basically a feed or two. The water, remember that pump that was pumping water? Yeah. So pump to all these uh, pipes and then these feeder two just feeds it with water. And, and drain, gravity, gravity, gravity yeah. fed down, go to the drain, go back to the tank. That's all it is. That's hydroponic. <laughs> the biggest thing is figure out the nutrient and then in the greenhouse environment, you gotta make sure how to control the environment properly. You know, where if the summer it gets too hot, can you cool the house down enough? Because you're growing like butter lettuce. They like it, you know, cool. But in the summer it's 190 degrees outside, yeah. in here it gets hot. So in the summer, our house is built too long. So next year, we're gonna change all the water wall to be there the fans in here. So okay. you shorten the distance yeah. of getting that hot air out. When I first started, you know, we had a lot of space. I'm like, hey guys, why don't we just put in 18 so you don't need to redo it and save some labor? And they were, like, they were saying like, no, they like to be together. They grow faster together. Okay. I'm like, whatever, <laughs> right? Put in the 18 and did a comparison, grew faster together. Oh. They're plants, they're living product. They, they want to be together. You yeah. know, I guess camaraderie, challenge each other, they grow <laughs> faster. I literally, I saw a huge difference. They like to be together when they're younger. And then once they're older, they're, they're right. probably they're, they're yeah. ready to move out of the house. It's, yeah, it's like, it's like kids, <laughs> right? Baby, you take care of them, you make them perfect, right? You give them the best nutrient. Yeah. You know, you feed them with breast milk, and then now, you know, in here, they like to be together, you train them well, and then now they're out. Amazing. You see this red and green. You literally have a salad mix. Yeah. Yeah. And then all you do is cork from the bottom, boom, falls out. It's a yeah. instant salad. 
And the people actually, because we do orchids, like, people actually want to do this as a bouquet. <laughs> you know? With our new trend on growing 23 different varieties, I have stuff that tastes, you know, like fireball, you know, mustard green that's really spicy. I have stuff that tastes really sour, like sorrel, and, and it tastes lemony. You know, there's different products in here that it's amazing how the sea, it has so many different things. Hydroponic is it's just soil is growing in water, right? And then for me, I feel it's more predictable about the production cycle, about the growing cycle compared to soil mm -hmm. for me. And then I just feel safer, you know, to be above the ground, not in a protected environment. Yeah. And then when you're protected in a greenhouse, there's more or less likely you will have pests coming in, right? If you have all your precaution. So that's the last stuff you have to spray. I think the biggest thing is about spraying pesticides. It's like, the less you spray, the better it is. <laughs> it's like, char, if it's red or it's yellow, the roots actually has that color. Okay. Yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of people can see actually the roots. See this? Now it's red. The red, char, red. You see if I find us, it's supposed to be a rainbow mix. <laughs> so we don't color dye this, okay? I promise. <laughs> That'll be There's too much like work. Food coloring going through. No, the no, no food <laughs> coloring in this thing. <laughs> like in here, hydroponic is all about timing. Yeah, it's very set. Once they're harvestable size, I gotta bring them out, or else pests start eating it. Yeah, that's how everything is timed. Maintenance is pretty uh, on a very set schedule. Like let's say if I butter that's ready and I don't have a sales channel, I still gotta take them out. Yeah. Because then, because there's not, there's no protection. It's, it's a pure head of lettuce. All right. So it's very scary and it's all about maintenance here and here. Yeah. Would you say Sundial has like an overarching goal or anything like that? Yeah. I mean, we want to, you know, start our expansion. I already maxed out planting here. Okay. And then we are looking for expansion opportunities. Um, there's a lot of farming. They're up there in ages. A lot of farmers is retiring now. So it is up to the next generation to feed America. A lot of even the mil, a lot of military, they're they're pushing a lot of veterans coming out to do farming, and there are a lot of benefit for veterans to do farming. And, and especially for people that are PTSD, that you know, it actually is very helpful to be around plants or animals. They're actually very few to grow plants like this. To see a seeding, to germination, to actually eating the plants is wow. Thank you very much, Endeavor. Oh, welcome, thank you. And now, uh, if anyone wants to find more information, say like, do you guys have any social media or anything like that? Yeah, uh, we actually have a Facebook account. It's called Sundial Farms. Uh, and then also, uh, our, our website is uh, sundialfarmca.com. Oh. You can see a picture of the farm, and it, there's also uh, about us and uh, where the location of the farm is. Okay. And then also where we sell our produce. Okay. okay. And I'm gonna take off and cook me some uh, dinner. <laughs> Catch you later. Thank you. Hey guys, John here. Thank you for watching our video. If you like what we did, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. We'll go ahead and post new videos every week on Tuesday, so come back to make sure you check that out.